What up? What up? What up? In this video, we're going to jump into the latest news about the PUA, that's the Pandemic Unemployment Assistance Program that was designed to roll out an additional $600 uh, from the federal government that essentially was on top of the state's portion for anyone who was self-employed and unemployed over the past few months. This article has some of the latest news that has just come out today, and uh, we're going to jump into the, into this in a, in a moment. But of course, first, don't forget to like that video, like this video, uh, helping with the YouTube algorithm to, again, improve the chances that other people similar to yourself will have with seeing this video. That might be why you actually came across this because of others who have already liked it. Um, and then, of course, subscribe to the channel so you guys can stay up to date on my latest videos. And after we go through this article, Feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts as to how you feel about, you know, what you're hearing, what you just heard, um, but as well as just what you think is actually going to happen. We've, you know, there's been a lot of talk and then things are a little different when they actually, you know, are presented to both sides, the Democrats and Republicans. So do you think what we cover in this is actually going to happen or do you think something else? Comment down below once we get through this video. Weeble. Enjoy tech enjoy investing click the link down below to learn how you can get two free stocks interactivevideoacademy.com an e-learning platform for self-employed all right guys so let's jump right into this the white house pushes for slashing expanded jobless benefits despite rises in unemployment Republicans have pushed to cut the expanded unemployment benefits in upcoming legislation because they claim it discourages people from working and even things like that. I'd love to hear what you guys think, because I hear this is a big part of the GOP's uh, Republicans kind of push as to why they don't want to extend or why they don't want to continue with the 600 thing. They keep saying I, I, I've gotten in numerous conversations with people on Facebook and other places where they're like, oh, you know we I, I'm against it. And, you know, people are just being lazy and, you know, so would love to hear what you guys think. You can you can comment on this this uh, right here right now if you would like comment down below. Would love to hear what you guys think if that's true. If you know if you personally know people that have told you, I feel like a lot of it has again just been people making assumptions. And yeah, I'm sure there are going to be some people that do fall in line with that. But as a whole, I don't know. So I would love to hear what you guys think about that. Um, let's continue with this article. So again, this just came out a few hours ago. Top Trump administration and White House officials on Sunday said they want to replace the soon expiring expanded unemployment benefits with the system that pays those out of work 70% of lost wages because they feel the current system gives people a reason not to return to the job. Treasury Secretary Steve Munchen told Fox News Sunday, he believed 70% of wage replacement from the federal government as opposed to the additional 600 as opposed to the additional $600 per week is a very fair level. I think workers and Americans understand the concept that you shouldn't be paid more to stay home than to work, he said. That the fair thing is to replace wages and it just wouldn't be fair to use taxpayer dollars to pay more people to sit home then they would get working and get a job. More than 30 million people are currently unemployed, with unemployment numbers on the rise as Rona continues to grip much of the country. Recent spikes in COVID cases have led some states to delay or roll back their economic reopenings. On ABC's This Week, White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows said the additional $600 per week in unemployment will not be expanded because many people earned more in unemployment than they did through their job. So the president has been very clear. Our Republican senators have been very clear. We're not going to extend that provision, Meadows said. We are going to prepare. We are going to be prepared on Monday to provide unemployment insurance extension. That would be 70% of whatever the wages you were prior to being unemployed that it would reimburse you for up to 70% of those wages. Hopefully as we get, hopefully as a way to get people back on their feet. Meadows said he expects Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to introduce the Republican relief package on Monday. 
tomorrow. Republic, uh, Democrats who released their most recent relief package more than two months ago blasted Republicans for not having a proposal ready before the expanded unemployment benefits were set to expire at the end of July. Republicans have had the Heroes Act for two months, Representative Karen uh, Bass told CNN State of the Union. Why would you wait until people are at the point of running out of their benefits and they still haven't come up with a plan? They are fighting between themselves. Earlier this month, Ben Bar Barnink and Janet Yellen, or Yellen uh, two former chairs of the Federal Reserve, pushed lawmakers to extend the $600 expanded unemployment benefit rather than let it expire sorry about that uh, uh they pushed lawmakers to extend the six hundred dollar six hundred dollars expanded unemployment benefit rather than let it expire at the end of july speaking before the house select subcommittee on the rona crisis yelin said it would be a catastrophe not to do so Last week, Senate Republicans expressed openness to either a short-term extension of the program or a smaller cut to the benefits than what the administration presented Sunday. Speaking with State of the Union, top White House economic advisory Larry Kudlow offered his typical rosy predictions for economic recovery and said the White House would seek to lengthen the federal eviction moratorium, which barred evictions from uh, propri proprieties. I'm such a fucking idiot, which barred evictions from properties served by, nah, we're going to start this part. Speaking with the state of union, speaking with state of the union, top white house economic advisor, Larry Kudlow offered his typically rosy predictions for economic recovery and said the white house would seek to lengthen the federal eviction moratorium, which barred evictions from properties serviced by federal backed mortgages. That moratorium came to an end on Saturday. And I just want to read this part again over here. Earlier this month, two former chairs of Federal Reserve pushed lawmakers to extend the $600 expanded unemployment benefit rather than let it expire at the end of July. Speaking before, I don't know why I thought that might have had some additional, wanted to reread that. But yeah, so I mean, Republicans, uh, again, and I have, I feel like I have to make this clear whenever I kind of go at a particular side I always have to kind of just reiterate this. You can go look at my about section. I literally have it specifically said, saying uh, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican because I don't really stand on either side. And I disagree with both of them on like everything. <laughs> um, so these, these, these ongoing, I mean, the fact that they knew this date was coming and they, you know, still technically as of right now, as of today, despite that deadline passing, because Saturday was kind of the last official date. I mean, I think the official date is like sun, like today or tomorrow, but like, or the end of the month or whatever. But in terms of the way the unemployment system works and with getting your money and stuff, Saturday was basically the last day. And so they've known this has been coming as you, you know, just heard me mention uh, the Heroes Act had been presented over two months ago. I think it's like two and a half months now. And it was as if they kind of just, you know, we're just going to kick the ball, kick the can down the street. We'll get to it when we get to it. We'll, we'll let all of these self-employed, uh, you know, unemployed people struggle a bit and, you know, yeah, we'll get around to them. You know, it's one of those things that it drives me a little crazy, especially even when we talk about the stimulus check where it's just $1,200. You can look at other countries, Google how much other countries gave, you know, their uh, residents, their citizens, uh, $1,200, a one-time payment of $1,200 was, was crazy to me. Um, and knowing that they are now, if you look at my most recent video, I just uploaded, which was the latest stimulus package, uh, news, uh, about the or stimulus check news. Um, we'll, and as we just mentioned here, we'll get the proposal tomorrow, but they pretty much made it clear it is going to be another $1,200 check. Um, what hasn't been clear about that is the threshold as to how much if you make 75 k or if you make 40 k because they there has been discussion about lowering it. Um, but so just knowing that, it's like, okay, 
the twelve hundred dollars a one time thing, and then you know six hundred dollars plus your state's portion, which at most I believe was like two hundred and something dollars. So, you know, to me it's crazy that like they basically have given us peanuts to to survive and to get by, and then you know you look at that first stimulus um, package where they threw all these tax provisions in there to give themselves millionaires a lot of tax breaks that allow them to save a lot of money um you know it's it's just one of those things to me that you know i'm glad i'm bald because i'd be pulling my hair out probably i'd probably be going a little crazier than you know how you guys currently you know see me um appearing and whatnot but um yeah it's i'm, I'm not a fan i'm not a fan at all and you know i have mixed feelings about the new potential approach where they're going to give you 70% of your, your, your wages. Um, you know, I, I do agree to the extent that yes, there definitely are people taking advantage of the programs and, um, you know, this will probably hopefully be a good, a good way to incentivize them to get back to work. Um, you know, for me personally, it's like I, I was collecting PUA and, you know, there had been some weeks I'd have money coming in, others I didn't. So, you know, being able to claim by week by week and whatnot um, works well. Um, and, and and seeing the direction that they basically intend on going, you know, I, I you know, certainly don't want to put myself and my family and others, you know, more at risk because of me going out working and doing more stuff where I'm around others and I potentially get sick. Then I go home and I see my family and someone else gets like, that's, we don't want that. And that's the thing that I feel like a lot of these um, politicians are kind of forgetting um, and, and, and just kind of overlooking because it's not just about uh, the, the, the individuals that are, you know, deciding to stay home to get the, the, that additional $600. I mean, a part of it, it's like I said, there's definitely people who probably are just like, oh, I'm kind of milking the system. But at the same time, like I, like we just talked about with the provisions thrown into the mix, we see them doing it, taking care of themselves. So it's like, to me, I feel like they can make more of an effort to look out for Americans who are self-employed. I mean, you get, you can look up the percentage of small businesses and self-employed and, and in like what percentage of the country, you know, a lot and a lot of people fall into those, that, that bucket. And, you know, we help the country stay afloat and we help the country, you know, we've helped it and we help it be what it is, you know, the, the, the greatest country in the world. And so for me, you know, when I see things like this, it's kind of like, uh, it's, it, it doesn't make me feel like it's the greatest country in the world. Um, you know, d despite that feeling, of course, I still think we are, but you know, it's things like that, that make you cringe a little bit and just say, okay, like we need to get back on track. Um, and, and I get it. Part of their vision and their way of trying to make that happen is by reducing the amount that you're given on a weekly basis. So then you're saying, hmm, maybe I will go out there and I will go to work now because I can make more money working than I would if I was just collecting the self-employed unemployment uh, PUA uh, checks and whatnot. So I get it. But again, this might only get numbers to skyrocket even higher. Like we're seeing numbers go up in a lot of you know different uh, states around the country. And, you know, I don't know, you know, obviously now with the way the administration has changed the uh, uh, approach to release, you know, states releasing their numbers, their, their, their Rona numbers, um, you know, they're, they're getting all that and they're not really releasing stuff now and whatnot. So we, we don't even really have as much of an insight to how bad things really are. And with this new approach that they're trying to take to get people to go back to work is numbers are only going to go higher. And when we're again, going to still be in the dark as to how bad things really are. So I don't know. I have mixed feelings about this, but what do you guys think? I mean, am I, am I just, am I an idiot? Am I just completely like, eh, am I missing something? Um, you know, and like I was saying before, this this the sentence here, Republicans have pushed to cut the expanded unemployment benefits and upcoming legislation because they claim it discourages people from working. Do you think it really was, you know, discouraging a lot of people from working? Um, you know, like I said, there's definitely people milking the system, I think, but that happens on the on 
that top tier wealthy, you know, the uber rich do it as well. And, you know, I, it, it's, it's, it's kind of, I don't know. There, there was a, a healthcare worker I was engaged with in a conversation on a friend's Facebook post who basically is like, Oh, and what about all of us healthcare workers and a hazard said something about like the hazard pay or something. Um, uh, you know, not they're, they're not really being taken care of is how she felt. And, you know, and she's like, forget about the PU, like, you know, self-employed and da, da, da. And it's like part of what, 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 what these individuals are doing, I feel like is intentionally getting a lot of us to go against each other. When in reality, like I mentioned, all these tax breaks that they threw into the mix in the first, the first stimulus package that saved them millions. Well, we all just got only one $1,200 check. It's like, come on, we shouldn't be fighting or at least not with each other. We should be working together, unified, fighting against the machine, fighting against these these individuals that aren't really looking out for Americans and, and regular citizens as much as many of us feel they could be. But again, I might be, you know, maybe I haven't ate in my lunch yet, my lunch, brunch, whatever you want to call it. Um, I mean, at this point, it's like lunch slash dinner, but um, I haven't even eaten it yet. I wanted to get the previous video, the stimulus package video up. Um, and then jump into this. So maybe, uh, you know, I'm just not, I haven't eaten enough and I'm, I'm not thinking right. What do you guys think? Am I, am I far off on this? Do you think doing the 70%, which I don't think is the worst way. I think them not ending it altogether is good. So this is to me a way that they're trying to streamline the process when they do come forward with the proposal tomorrow, because they know Democrats definitely weren't going to sign off on them cutting the $600 extension altogether. Um, so doing a percentage based approach isn't the worst idea. However, as some have said, it, it's going to only kind of complicate things potentially. Um, whereas just having that set 600, we know how much it is. Like it's just easier for them to kind of dole it out and whatnot. So what do you guys think? Do you, do you think this news about doing the 70% of their wage, uh, wage replacement from the federal government is better than doing the $600 per week in addition to your state's portion. Um, and, and do you think we're actually going to finally get the proposal tomorrow? Like they keep saying, cause we thought we were getting it last week. We didn't get it. Now they're saying, okay, we'll get it on Monday, which we better. And I, I, I think we are, but what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like this video again. It helps with the YouTube al algorithm. So other self-employed individuals like yourself will have a better chance to see this video. They'll be in the know and kind of be better prepared so they can actually get ready for what's to come or what's not to come. And lastly, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. So you guys can stay up to date on my latest video content. All right, guys, I'm starving. My food, it's, it's, I ordered some Chinese food, Oriental Chinese, what is it? Oriental Chinese restaurant in Medford. Oh, love it. So if you're here in, in Boston area, Medford area, Somerville, mm -hmm, that's the go-to spot. And they, they did not pay me to say that, <laughs> but all right, guys, I'm going to keep it moving, but you already know, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.